hello guys and welcome in today's video we are going to talk briefly about a new way of creating spring boot application in vs code now my favorite id for java is vs code now this video is not about ids and if you want me to do a video about why i ch i choose a vs code over over any other java id i can do it but for now let's talk about a new the new way or rather rather a way of creating spring boot application in vs code so there is a new extension it's been around not for so long but it's been around which is used to create spring boot applications so the way to add an extension to vs code as always is to head over to your left uh, or, or simply press ctrl shift x either way it will open the extensions window in which you can search the extension that is that you want so in this case we are searching spring boot extension the full name is spring boot extension pack but spring boot extension should suffice for our searching purposes so spring boot extension spring boot extension pack by vmware vmware.com so when we will go ahead and install So this extension is available for VS Code in all operating systems. I've tested it on Mac OS. And of course, right now we are using Windows and it also works on Linux. once it's done downloading or installing the extension it will come with supporting extensions such as spring initializer and spring boot tools so you can check the extensions and you'll realize that some additional extensions which will work together with Spring Boot Extension Pack have also been installed, such as Spring Boot Dashboard, Spring Boot Tools, and Spring Initializer Java Support. So to, to create a Spring Boot application, let's uh, simply create a, an application by pressing Control shift p and then there should be create a java project and now we have an option we should have an option of a spring boot yes that is the spring boot spring boot and using maven yes spring boot version so you should be connected with the internet so that it can search for the Spring Boot version and other uh, frameworks. So I will choose the latest 3.23. I'll use Java. And then I, you can leave the group ID as, as a com.example. I will leave also the artifact ID as demo JAR. I will use JDK 21, Java version 21. And then, so you can choose the dependencies. Let's say you want to use Spring Web, for example, you search here web. And then you can see it is here. So you simply 
select and then after you selected all the dependencies that you need here you can also add lombok or any other dependencies that you want but for this example i'm going to just use spring web having selected all the dependencies i'll just press enter and it will ask me to select where the project will be created so inside the java projects folder so i will choose this folder java projects and then it will generate into that folder and then open let me just close the other one so here we go so this is our spring boot application created using vs code and the vs code extensions and tools namely spring boot extension pack and that is the process thanks for watching guys if you are new please subscribe and also click the notification bell for such great videos thank you guys see you again